Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to be making a turned snowman on the lathe using some of this scrap wood that I have that was already cut up. I start out here by using some epoxy to glue these pieces together on end grain. That's why I chose epoxy. It's a little stronger. It'll give me a little better bond when turning this end grain. So I put a good amount on, clamp them together here. I'm kind of trying to alternate those high points just to help get a little better of a circle when I start turning. Now picking it up the next day, taking it out of the clamps, I'm able to see how the piece came together and if that connection was strong enough, and it was. Epoxy is a good thing for things like that. And then I screw on my end plate here that attaches to my lathe as it gives a much better support when turning something so big. And then installing it here in the lathe with the tail support on the end there. And then I'm able to get turning. Now I'm trying to rough this out pretty quickly here as this was a heavy piece and you could see it's off balance at the end there. So I'm trying to get a rough, roughly uh, the shape I'm going for quickly just to keep it balanced so it doesn't shake around as much. And I do that by coming at it with this gouge here, which removes quite a lot of material very quickly. And I'm able to define that shape, bringing in the sides of the snowman at those joints. And you see me stop every now and then. I'm just checking for those high spots. You can see where they're still flat. And my goal is to remove just that amount. So I'm trying to keep this as thick as possible while getting a nice round shape. Then after that roughing is done, I come in with some sandpaper here, 60 or 80 grit, and uh, finish the piece off this way. It's much quicker, very messy, but you get a nice smooth finish relatively quickly. And then I'm able to pop it off the lathe and take a look at it. That's about what I was going for. Now similarly, I'm turning the top of the hat that I'm going to put on the snowman here with a similar method, just turning down very flat, a nice cylinder, and then sanding to the finished portion. Now I'm cutting what will be the brim of the hat, just out of some scrap quarter inch material I had. I cut it roughly in the thirds just by dividing it there and then making some rough cuts here which don't have to be perfect because I'm trying to get a circle out of this. So I cut that piece into three equal pieces and then I eyeball them to see what what joins line together better, if there's some that are off or not. So I make that determination and then glue and clamp it up very lightly here. Here's a trick I like to use, put down some blue painter's tape and then put the gluing surface down so it doesn't stick to your table. As you can see it removes pretty easily, the tape can be reused. And I'm left with this piece here that I'm going to trace a circle on here just by using this paint can. And that's going to give me the brim of the hat that I'm going to make for the snowman. Now taking it over to the bandsaw, I can rough that piece out. I start just by knocking off the corners and then coming in a little closer each time, getting just off that line, which gets me a nice rough cut, which I'm able to sand later to a perfect circle. And I do that here at the disc sander, just by going right up to that line. As this was a little bigger than I wanted, there was some flat spots that I had to contend with, and those I kind of eyeballed to get perfectly round. So I do some more sanding here, and a little bit more off camera to get it perfect. Now doing some paint. This is just some uh, glidden white that I have kicking around. I use it for projects like this. 
I show one coat on camera, but I end up doing two or three off just to get a nice even finish. And I sand in between as well. Now I'm attaching the brim to the top of the head here just by applying some glue, seeing what side looks best and putting that side up and then tacking it into place with that air nailer there. And similarly, I'm spray painting it black. So it'll show the grain of the wood. It'll look a little cooler than flat colored. Now I'm starting to do the layout in my downstairs shop for the nose, mouth, and all that other accoutrement. So I lay those out with a pencil and then drill the hole for the nose. Luckily this chopstick was already painted the exact color I wanted for the carrot, which was nice. I do some fit up looking at the piece in total to make sure everything looks good. Then laying out the arms on the left and right side, I drill those out and I'm using this brass rod for the arms. And then just bending them to the shape that I like just to give it some character. And then just using some black acrylic paint, I add the eyes, the mouth, and then finally the buttons. Now for something a little different, I have this ribbon kicking around from Christmas and I'm cutting it down and I'm using it for the brim of the hat to give it some color. I just gl hot glue that into place. And then similarly, I make a scarf with it as well, just by wrapping it around. Cutting it to length. And then hot gluing it in place as well. Now to add the top of the hat on, I mix up some two-part epoxy right in place here and use one of those old chopsticks to mix it into place. This is also a great technique that I like. And then set that hat on top, make sure everything looks good, and I called it good. As always, thank you all for watching. This was a very fun project. It'd be great to do with kids or anything. If you'd like to see more videos, let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like this one. Thank you.